Hey everybody, my name is Adam. I'm a librarian here at Bridgeport Public Library. And today we're going to play a book trivia quiz all about books that you can find at public libraries in Bridgeport. So you're gonna get 11 questions. Uh, you're gonna get the question, four possible answers, and then 10 seconds to figure it out. But enough of this jabbering, let's get playing. All right, let's get it started with this. Question one. Which of these titles is bad luck to say in a theater? A. Macbeth B. Julius Caesar C. Twelfth Night or D. Henry V Okay, so take 10 seconds to figure it out. Out. Out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. And if you guessed... A, Macbeth, then you're right. Question two, which one of these is not a DC superhero? Is it A, Superman, B, Batman, C, Spider-Man, or D, Wonder Woman? Okay, 10 seconds, here we go. You okay, Ben? Oh, I'm great, Janine. B, Otto Octavius in a one-on-one. -on -one. The drive he stole was destroyed in the process, but at least it won't fall into the wrong hands. And the answer we were looking for here was C, Spider-Man. Number three, which one of these classics was banned for vulgar language and sexual scenes? Is it A, To Kill a Mockingbird? B, The Catcher in the Rye? C, King Lear? Or D, the Great Gatsby. I'm gonna read this for 10 seconds. It was a funny thing to say. It sounded like a real kid. You'd think a prostitute and all would say, like hell you are, or cut the crap, instead of like fun you are. And if your guess was B, catcher in the rye, then that's worth a point. All right, here's the next one. Which book is about the singer of Rocket Man, your song, and Tiny Dancer. A, Me Elton John, B, Man in the Music, C, Billy Joel, or D, Here We Are Now, The Lasting Impact of Kurt Cobain. Okay, here we go, 10 seconds, best of luck. The truth is that my parents should never have gotten married in the first place. I was born in 1947, but I was effectively a war baby. I must have been conceived while my father was on leave from the RAF. And if your guess was A, me, Elton John, that's a point your way. Hey everybody, uh, I certainly hope you are enjoying the quiz so far. And uh, if you are, then please hit that like button, mash that subscribe button, and visit us at bportlibrary.org to browse our books and other materials, to go through our resources, and to see what events we have coming up. Alrighty, get ready for this one now. <clears throat> Which of these would you use to learn computer coding? Is it A, C++ for dummies, B, Zoom for dummies, C, MacBook for Dummies, or D, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Protecting Yourself Online. I'll read, you think, let's do this. At the very beginning, we start you out from square one. We don't assume any programming experience whatsoever. Everybody has to start from somewhere. You can start here. And if your guess was A, C++ for Dummies, then I don't care that this book is about C++. You get an A plus for that question. Question six, of what novel did Hemingway say, there was nothing before, there has been nothing as good since? A, The Great Gatsby, B, For Whom the Bell Tolls, C, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, or D, Uncle Tom's Cabin? We're at the halfway mark, 10 seconds. The river went on raisin and raisin for 10 or 12 days till at last it was over the banks. The water was three or four feet deep on the island in the low places and on the Illinois bottom. And if your guess was C, 
Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Well, I think you get the point. You're right there. All right, lucky number seven now. Which of these manga is about an English Earl's demonic servant? Is it A, Rose of Versailles? B, Black Butler? C, Fairy Tale? Or D, Blue Exorcist? Okay, Rocket, 10 seconds. My apologies, Mr. Battle. But I have no interest in man-made rubbish, coin or otherwise. For you see, I am a devil of a butler. And so, you can score once by guessing B, Black Butler, and you can score again by checking it out. Number eight, the U.S. has produced the most Nobel Prize laureates in physics. What country has produced the second most? A, France. B, Germany, C, Japan, or D, South Korea. And just in case you decide to start this quiz on question eight, I'll tell you that you have 10 seconds. Official religion, none. National anthem, Deutschland lead. Type of government, federal republic. Head of state, president. Head of government, chancellor. And the answer we were looking for here was B, Germany. Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to ask how you're doing so far. And uh, also I wanted to remind everybody that you can check out uh, all the books you see today at public libraries in Bridgeport. In fact, if you are interested in knowing uh, where libraries in Bridgeport are or how you can contact us or exactly what books each uh, library in Bridgeport has, or how you can get yourself a free Bridgeport Public Library card, then please go to bportlibrary.org. That's the letter B, portlibrary.org, and click on branches. Uh, but first, let's get back to the game. Okay, everybody, we're getting into the home stretch now. So here we go with question nine. Which of these books contains only 50 unique words? Is it A, the B book, B, Green Eggs and Ham, C, Go Dog Go, or D, The Cat in the Hat? 10 seconds, number nine, here we go. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. And if you guess that question correctly, you don't just get a brownie point, you get green eggs and ham. All right, question 10. Film adaptations of what book starred Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp? A, One and Only Ivan. B, Kingdom Keepers 3. C, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Or D, The Son of Neptune. Cool, awesome, 10 seconds. Oompa Loompas, everyone said at once. Oompa Loompas, imported direct from Loompa Land, said Mr. Wonka proudly. And yes, the answer to that would be C, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. All right, everybody, we're going to finish this off right here. What reference book might a numismatist use? Is it A, a guidebook of United States coins? B, Cobles, Antiques, and Collectibles? C, the Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide, or D, the Beckett Baseball Card Price Guide. It's been fun, it's been real, finish out strong. On October 8th, 1942, the wartime five cent piece composed of copper, silver, and manganese was introduced to eliminate nickel. And if you've guessed A, a guidebook of United States coins, you got it right on the button, or should I say the coin? Well, everybody, I hope that you had as much fun taking this quiz today as I've had putting it together. Before you leave the YouTube page, though, just make sure you check out the descriptions below for links about how you can check out all the books you saw today, and of course, many, many more. My name is Adam. This is Bridgeport Public Library, and I can't wait to see you again in YouTube land and the library. You have an excellent day.